What's going on guys? Welcome back to today's video. Today I'm out here on this incredible little lake. And we're going to be doing some largemouth fishing. The fishing is slowly starting to pick up this year. It has been awfully cold. Yesterday was Easter. And so I'm getting back out here. We're going to see if the fish are biting. Temperatures have started to move up just a touch. Still pretty cold. Um, moss is definitely starting to grow in here. So you can tell that the water temperature is rising at least. But we're going to try to catch some largemouth today. So stick with it. Stay tuned. And I hope you guys enjoy. Starting off with a little Livingston, starting off with a little Livingston square bill crankbait. I have never thrown one of these before. Pretty cool little bait. Makes a lot of noise when you retrieve it. Vibrates a lot, and I think these fish are definitely gonna love it if I can find the fish today. First fish, nice little largy. This Livingston lure is making noise. I don't know what the heck's in it, but it must have some like little vibrator thing in it. First fish, awfully cold, but we got one. one just got to find the right spot and then it's pretty easy to get on second one off of a little sandbar flat out here second largemouth this one's definitely bigger than the last one two down thousand to go got a little bit of wind today and there's some severe weather coming in tonight so I'm hoping that the fishing is pretty good before the storm. So far, it's not letting me down. There's one. Third fish. So, first impressions of this bait is that obviously it works excellent. It works just like a square bill should. It tracks the fish, everything about it's good. One thing I have noticed though is that the bill on the front of it is just a little bit, you know, sharper points than some other bills. It's a little, um, basically what I'm trying to say is it attracts weeds a little worse than some other ones. I think some of the other square bills I've used, you can pull through the weeds a little bit easier and just kind of break off some weeds. Could just be the day though, maybe I'm in a little bit heavier weeds right now. And overall really really no complaints other than just getting a lot of weeds on it it's obviously not meant for a weeded up lake but it's just what i'm trying to use today because i know that these fish love lots of vibrations and lots of noise so another beautiful largy i'm gonna go ahead and release him now As you can see in front of me, storm clouds are definitely starting to move in. The sky is turning a little darker. I think we still got a few hours though. It's just like it's preparing to get bad. And I'm hoping I can get a couple more fish before anything happens. All right, we're kind of in a new spot now. Switch sides of the lake just because the wind was pushing me pretty far over there. And I've had good luck over here before. It was about 72 degrees when I started today. And I think we're going to get down into the 60s, maybe upper 50s tonight. So it's it's definitely picking up over here. Fishing is really starting to get good in Indiana. And I'm pretty excited to see what spring is going to bring. There are some monster, monster fish in here. I mean, you can easily get some five, six pounders. There's not a lot of them, though. So you really have to work at it. But I know every spring there's, there's a couple giants that come out of here. And I've been blessed before to get some big ones. My biggest out of here was six pounds, two ounces. So it'd be cool to break that goal, but you know, just what would be cooler is just to get a couple fish. I'm never too picky when it comes to fishing. I just like catching fish. I don't really care if they're big or small. 
I'll take any of them. So I've fished this so many different times now. It's probably um, secondhand nature to me just to do what I'm doing now. But when I come out here, I'm kind of breaking the lake down to figure out what's working and what's not working. So just since I've been here, I've tried three different spots. And uh, what I'm going to do is keep working around, figure out what's working and what's not working. And then I'll come back and really work hard on that certain area. They say you should never leave fish to find fish, but when it comes to pretty small lakes like this, you definitely can do that because it's, it's not too hard to go from one side to the other. I know that sandbar out in the middle is definitely going to produce, but I want to see if anything's a little bit better right now. Well, I can honestly say I'm pretty shocked at the outcome so far. I mean, we caught fish in the first two spots on the square bill, which is no shocker, but whatever's going on right now is kind of wild because the fish don't really seem to want to bite um, up shallow. I thought they'd be up shallow a little bit more. So I guess I'm gonna have to go a little deeper. Uh, first, I'm gonna try uh, the back cove here where it's really, really shallow, just to see if anything's moved up at all. But then I'm gonna have to go deeper if, if not, go back to that deep stuff. I don't really wanna fish deep right now. I'm just ready for the spawn to be going on and I, I can throw a little weightless worm in there and just rip lips like 25, 30 a time, but it's just not ready yet. So we're gonna keep trying square bill for a few minutes and see if we can't get something so let's get back in there and uh, try to get through some of these weeds i mean like you can see this is what the entire lake looks like i'm sure it's really hard to see the bottom right now because the glare but the water is crystal clear it's beautiful conditions today just the moss is awful and i mean the moss is always bad in here so well let's get back in there and see if we can't catch something so what i'm trying to do now is find like a nice spot that I can get the square bill to go through some of these weeds, like some opening channels. Like, like right in front of me is a pretty good example. Just get right in front of the weeds and kind of work it through there. And then sometimes you can get some really, really good bites that way. All right, so conditions are not good for a worm. I also have it on a ridiculously heavy rod and reel right now, but I'm going to give it a shot because I'd like to see if I can get any kind of action back here. This spot right off this little interstate here and back in this cove really can produce some nice fish once they move up shallow. So usually what I'll do is I'll kayak through here and I'll see if I can spook anything and then I'll know if there's some stuff back in here. but. I have seen no action today, so I'm just going to blindly cast and hope for the best. And if I get something, I'll stay. If not, I'm going to go back to the square bill out deep. Well, I just went by my first bedding bass, so I am going to try to chuck a little worm in there. I don't know exactly where it's at, but I figure I'll give it a try and see what happens. Just a little guy, so you never know. Well, no good on the worm either. I'm gonna go back to the square bill now and see if I can't find something a little deeper. I might throw the worm once I get back to some deep water again to see if maybe they're interested in super slow moving off the bottom and maybe the bite will pick up just a little bit. Otherwise, I'll just keep throwing the square bill for now. Well, I went back to the worm because I seen a good little pocket that had a few fish in it that were spilling all over the place, just jumping out of the water almost on me. And I just had my first little bite there. So we're going to keep trying and see if we can't get to connect with something. I had one other follow, but a little slow. Well, I ended up with nothing on the worm, but that's okay. It could be the crane cable that I've got attached to that pole, which is made for much larger fish like northern pike and muskie. That's kind of the target species with that rod. But back to the old bass rod, just my 30-pound Power Pro braided line on it. That works excellent with these square bills. We're going to go back to bass fishing just the way that we know how to do it best. I think we're just still too early for bed fishing. 
water's pretty cold. Probably in the upper 50s or low 60s, so it's gonna be starting soon. I seen one bed on a bass that wasn't interested, and then uh, I seen a few other ones in the shallows swimming by and one bite. Back to square bills, and let's see if we can catch some more then. Thinking the wind may have picked up another uh, mile per hour or two. All day today, they were saying that the winds were gonna die, and then at the end of the night, they changed it and said it was gonna go up, and it's kind of been back and forth a little bit, so who knows what's actually gonna happen. Hoping the wind dies off as the night goes out, but uh, we'll see. There's one. Go. Come on, stay on. Nice fish. Almost looked like a smallmouth at first. It's so brown. But I do not believe there's any smallies in this lake. Now it has been a hot minute, but we got another one. Beautiful fish. There's. They seem to be kind of on the drop off here. There we go. Another one down. I'm gonna try to get one more before we call her. Fishing's a little tougher than I was expecting today, but that's all right. We're gonna get back on. Well, I think we're gonna end it there. I had no idea that this was going to be that difficult with the square bill. And uh, that's okay. It ended up with a pretty good day. I mean, four different fish. Awesome largemouth out here. They're getting a little bit bigger. They're still very, very cold though, which is kind of concerning. Like I said already a thousand times, starting to warm up but it's still going to be a little bit so i want to say thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed i've never used uh, livingston i have never used livingston lures really before so this is one of my first times ever trying them so i hope you guys enjoyed that let me know if there's any livingston lures that i uh, might need to pick up because i like i said i don't have a lot of experience with them but i do like it i just think conditions today were the wrong wrong place to try it there's just too many weeds i've had good luck here before Maybe it's just the weeds are getting worse or else the bill on this thing's a little more aggressive than some of the other square bills I've used. But uh, that's the one I was using today, kind of in a sexy shade, a sexy shad color. And uh, I don't like it. Like I said, when you shake it, you can hear that little like vibration inside of it. I don't know what that's all about, but it's pretty cool. So hopefully it agitates the fish more next time and we can get back out here and catch some more. So I want to say thanks for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.